Low Drafters, here today to do some Kaladesh Remastered. Really enjoyed this when it came out in Arena last time. Quite enjoyed it when it was in paper, uh, but I really enjoyed Kaladesh Remastered. Here we go straight away. Kind of hoping for either a Pummeler deck, because I, I did a few of them last time and it was really good. Or maybe some minus one, minus one counter stuff. We'll see what we open. Thanks to everybody who watched the Alan Cat Remastered video. Got a lot of views, uh, 200 and odd, which is pretty good for me. So pretty happy with how that one turned out and uh, pretty happy that people seem to be enjoying it. If you're drafting for the first time or don't draft very often, then uh, definitely check out drafts a bit more. It's a really, really rewarding format. If you do draft all the time, just enjoy your free drafts. And still waiting on one person. Oh, is it going to reset? Oh no, I thought we were going to get straight into there. Oh, there we go. Uh, don't recognise any of those names. Right, let's see what we get. And, ooh, Kamal's good. It's, uh, he's pretty strong, actually. I quite like Ether Chaser as well. So Kamal, it's uh, one white black, two three. And when an opponent casts a non-creature spell, they lose two life and you gain two life. So it really slows them down. It's really kind of annoying, actually, uh, for what it looks like. Um... Some other good cards though. Rogue Refiner is really strong. I think I might just for the I don't know. This three mana three two draw card, which is solid by itself, and get the energy. It's so strong. It just fits into so many decks. Um, this is a really good pack. It's got the Ether Chaser as well. Propeller Pioneer is pretty fine. Um, I think Rogue Refiner is the correct pick here. Uh, it's it's just it's just really really solid. Uh, Pima Outrider as well. Wow. Okay, yeah. Solid, solid pack, but let's go for the Rogue Refiner and start optimistic. And, ooh, Armorcraft Judge. That's another good one. When it's a battlefield, draw a card for each creature you control the plus one, plus one counter on it. Um, Dawn Feather Eagle. Wow. There's the strength of these packs. I keep forgetting how strong the set is. Spire Patrol. Tap with a creature opponent controls. Doesn't tap when in its own controls. Untap step. Um, I think I'm quite happy to try keeping the green going here. Opponent took the uh, person to my right took the rare, so yeah, this is this is quite good. It's not it's like, it, it's not as strong by itself, but you do get plus one plus one counters relatively easy in this format. And a four mana three three which draws your card is actually just really good. Here I like the Gear Seeker Serpent, and blue seems a bit more open. Um, so this costs one less to cast for each artifact you control, and you can make it unblockable quite easily. So that can be quite an easily a four mana five six. Uh, Ether Chase is really good as well. I think because blue seems to be more open, red's not. We've already passed some good red cards, so that can be getting picked on the left. And we've got blue green stuff so far. I'm gonna go for the Gear Seeker Serpent, but it is really close between these two. Shield Ether Thief. Um, it's fine. I don't think it's on the stronger side of what we see. Chief of the Foundry is really good. Artifact creatures get plus one, plus one. Uh, Audacious Infiltrator is quite good, and Avery Mechanic is quite good, but I think the Gear Seeker Serpent is uh, really, really good. Ooh, Invigorate Rampage. I like this card. It's just a surprise finisher. Uh, just plus four, plus one, Trample. There's a lot of big things without Trample in this format, I think. Um, and even if it, you know, it can just make you win a combat which you weren't expecting. Two creatures plus two plus oh, and Trample can just really help as well. Um, Ether Poisoner, that's a, oh, so many good cards here. So this is where you can uh, pay two energy when it attacks and create a 1-1 one -one servo. It's a 1-1 one -one death, death touch by itself. Bastion Macedon's not bad. Dawn Feather Eagle again. Um, I know we've, sort of, like, we've been passing a lot of red stuff, but I think... Invigorate Rampage is just too good to pass up. And we don't have very much blue-green stuff here. Uh, nothing which is really doing anything. So we'll go for the Rampage. So, so far, quite a strong start. Doing some quite Kaladesh things here. Doesn't like we're going to be going on a, a green-black deck. Looks like it's just going to be kind of a, a teamer value deck. Not necessarily all three colours of teamer, but one of the colour pairs of teamer. Red, blue, red, green, or blue, red. Uh, ooh, hello. Metalwork Colossus. 11 mana, costs X, X less to cast, where X is a total mana value of non-creature artifacts you control. Um, so it's got to be non-creature artifacts, and the servos don't help with that. Servos and thoppers don't help with that. 
It's a bit more tricky to pull off. It was really good and constructed. Um, I don't think there's much else going on here. Ornamental uh, Restoration Specialist. Sacrifice it. Return an artifact and up to one enchantment card from your grave at your hand. That's really good and white. Um, I want to take the Colossus. I think it's colourless. It's a rare, so a little bit of rare drafting going on. And it can be solid. It can be a really solid card. It's a 10 10. Substantially like a 4 or 5 and a 10 10. So, yeah. We'll see. If you can get some of the implements, I think they are, uh, it can be quite good. Ether Theorist. And it's about to feel like energy, 3 energy. And then tap here in energy to scry 1. Tether Rest Ambition. Draw 3 cards. If you control no, off, uh, if you control no artifacts, discard a card. 5 mana sorcery, draw 3. Eh. This is the uh, type of thing that we're looking for for Metal Work Colossus. And it's about a field gain three life. You get three energy, two and a green, sacrifice it, get three life and get three energy. But, ooh, malfunction. Tap and tap permanent, yeah. So it's malfunction I'm going to take here. Solid removal. Um, yeah, so that's just a, a, a removal spell, effectively. Make obsolete. Creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus one until the end of the turn. That's really good. Really good against like the servos and stuff that, that people make. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to be black. But that's a really strong black card. It shouldn't have made it around this far, I don't think. Uh, Nightmark Aeronaut, if you're black, green counters. I think it's really good as well. Uh, and there's a battlefield with plus one counter on it if a permanent controlled left the battlefield this turn. So that's the revolt. Uh, it's not the one I was thinking of, actually. I was thinking about the one with lifelink. Um... I'll just go for the Sage here. Ooh, run out of time there. Kuja Skeed Sculptor. And there's a battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Outright for Unnatural is actually quite good. Um, it just is effectively just a remo removal spell in a lot of cases. And uh, there's a lot of things like Malfunction where it's, uh, it takes away a removal spell. Nimble Innovator. And the battlefield draw card is pretty good. Um, but I think I prefer the, the Seed Sculptor here. Cheat a card. Puts counters on things as well. And I think it's what we can go for. So the curve is looking okay so far. We don't get too many things which are higher up on the curve. Um, Ether Theorist. Get three energy. We've seen that. Inventor's Apprentice. Plus one to Solon's Lone's Control Artifact. One mana two three is fine. Five falls which part puzzle art. I don't think it does enough for the mana cost. So I'm just going to go for the Inventor's Apprentice. I don't think that should have... Uh, Made it round this far. I never get like a nice red uh, rare in the second pack. We can quite easily take that and uh, go a bit more red. So I don't mind leaving ourselves open a little bit here, especially when it looks like signals say things might be open a little bit. Waiting for some passes. No names I recognize. Brometheus. Not name I recognise, but it's a cool name. Uh, ooh, Thriving Turtle is quite good. Frontline Rebels also okay. Three mana, three three. Attacks each turn if able. Uh, this just gets energy. You can pay energy to put a counter on it. And the uh, P foul, pay blue to make it flying. Um, we're going for the turtle here. It's a good blocker, so it's it's really good against some of the more aggressive strategies. Um, Metallic Rebuke, I'm not a big fan of. Pillarburg, not in this deck because we don't have black. Let's take a solvent. It's actually all right. It's definitely playable. Um, and it can just be a worthwhile removal spell, but it does cost seven to activate. Uh, there are ways to ramp in the format a little bit, so we'll see. And some of the games, although it can be quite aggro, some of the games do go long. Mm, Quicksmith Genius. When artifact, artifact ends battle under control, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. That can be quite good. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take it. That's new sail back, five and a five four, or the more. That's a more. That's a builder smash. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, so red does seem to be quite open here. Uh, oh, baby. There we go. Sky Sovereign Console flagship. Bomb of bombs in this format. Uh, yes, it's five mana, but it's so powerful. And its battlefield is three damage, and you can crew uh, three, and when it attacks, it does three damage to a creature of planes as well. This is just so good. Uh, this is a snap pick. However, more more fish revolutionary, more fish revolutionary, more fist revolutionary is also really strong. And Drew the Cow is actually all right as well. 
Um, just a land of war elf, 1-3 and costs 2 mana. So, uh, Revoke Privileges is pretty good. Um, but yeah, Sky Sovereign, easy pick. Colorless goes in every deck, really strong. I uh, don't think there could be a better card to take. Uh, right, this is more interesting. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. So, Key of the City. Um, tap the Scarlet card, up to one creature can't be blocked this turn. When it becomes untapped, you may pay two if you do a draw card. So, you make things unblockable and draw extra cards. Uh, I might take it, I don't know. Um, scrap a champion, uh, double strike. When it attacks me, it uh, pay two energy. If you do, put a th uh, plus one, plus one counter on it. So, effectively, for the first time it attacks, it's going to be a 3 3 double strike, and then it can become even bigger. Inventor's Goggle is really good as well. Weld and Sparks is a solid removal spell. Um, three mana deals three damage plus the amount of artifacts you control. Uh, it's dead easy to get artifacts here. I think I'm just going to go for the removal spell, although I'm really tempted to take this key at the city. Uh, but I think you've got to build around that a little bit more. And this is just a, a, a good card by itself. Hungry Flames. Uh, three damage target creature and two damage target player or planeswalker. Another good removal spell. The red is definitely coming from the left, which it shouldn't be because we've passed quite a lot of things that way. Um, yeah, really good. Aggressive, instant speed, uh, removal, bit of damage to the opponent. Uh, we are almost definitely playing red here and possibly dropping the blue, at least some of the blue off. Armorcraft Judge again. Strip of Tamarin, not particularly great. Is that creatures will fight without flying combat this turn? Trample here, Simplifies. This is all right. Uh, Improvise means you've got a tap. Uh, yeah, you got a, a, a tapper. Artifacts, so you can't just have artifacts lying about. Um, don't have a huge amount of plus one plus one counter stuff so far, so I'm not tempted to take a second Armcraft Judge. But this is just Trammel Haste 4-4 for, you know, 4 or something. It can be quite good. And we do have um, Invigorate Rampage. I mean, this already has Trammel, but yeah, I think that's what I want. Uh, Chandra's Revolution. 4 damage target creature. Yeah, I mean, this is really good. Um... Well, fast engineer. Oh, this is good as well. Uh, at the beginning of combat on your turn, target artifact creature you control gets plus two plus oh until end of turn. Yeah, it's really good. But we're in red. Uh, Chance Revolution's there. Um, I'll probably drop the Gear Seeker Serpent out at this point. Let's go to the spot. Drop the Thriving Turtle out. There's a chance I'll play the Rogue Refiner. There's a chance I'll play Malfunction. We'll leave them in for now. Uh, this is probably going to come out. But this is a non creature artifact. So this makes this cost six, which is pretty cool. So that's something to keep in mind. Quite happy with the way this draft is going currently. I've got lots of removal. I've got Weldon Sparks. I've got Hungry Flames. I've got uh, Chatter's Revolution. Potentially got Malfunction. So my removal's going at an alright pace. I've got Build a Smash. Um, the target chair is plus three, plus three for a single red. And if it's an artifact, it gets Trample, which is really good. I don't have many artifacts actually just kind of knocking about, but it's doing okay. Uh, mobile Garrison, untap another artifact or creature you control when it attacks. That could be taken here. I don't have a lot else going on. This is just a bad card, never take it. Um, that's pretty good. Trophy Mage is all right. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't work here because I don't have any with three. Uh, but yeah, I can I can take this. Um, I think it works quite well with a Builder Smash. It works quite well with a Metalwork Colossus. And I'm quite happy. How many creatures do I have? Nine creatures. Nine creatures is okay at this point. Don't really have much going on with energy, so this might not be a stain, but we'll see. This is pretty cool. So if I play the Sage and then turn three, play the Garrison, and tap the Sage to crew this, and then untap the, the Sage again. So that's uh, pretty nice. Where is Gremlin? Sacrifice of Strong Artifact. No. I think I might take this Appetite for the Natural. Uh, kind of the Gear Seeker Serpent, but I don't think I'm going to be blue. I think this is the best card left in the pack, but uh, it's not going to be what we want to do. Implement of Examination is pretty good, but no, let's just go for the Appetite for the Unnatural. It's just a removal spell in this format. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Like, okay, yes, they're going to have a big creature, a big dragon or something that uh, you can't deal with, but I think it's still quite good. Lifecraft Cavalry. Uh, and as well, I feel two plus one, so it's potentially five and a six six trample. Yes, um, this is also quite good. I would have taken this if the Lifecraft Cavalry wasn't here, but the Cavalry is just better. If something's left the battlefield, so that's a revolt mechanic. 
So you control these a battlefield, uh, you put a plus one plus counter on it, and there's loads of ways to get that to happen, whether, like something like an Evolving Wilds or something like that. Don't know if Evolving Wilds in the format, but uh, you know what I mean. Uh, th here I think it's going to be Hijack, but I don't think I'll play it. I'll put it on the side for now. Um, don't really have any way to sacrifice stuff here. It, if I end up being really aggro, which I don't think I'm super aggro, if I end up being really aggro, I could play it. Just, you know, un uh, take their blocker, attack through. Um, it's not like it is in... Um, what do you call it? The... Ah! Uh, Adventures of Cotton Realm. I forgot the name of the current set there. This is the type of thing that used to trigger a vault. Um, and I think I'll keep it. Because I think it looks quite good. I Silver. Uh, so it doesn't untap in its untap step. I'm going to take it. Uh, if we get some fixing just naturally, like Unbridled Growth, uh, I might play a bit more blue. But we'll see. Um, the Ether Hub will be something which will make us play a bit more blue. I'll take the Solvent. I don't think it's going to get played. But there is a chance I'll bring it in from the sideboard. Not, it's best of one, so not in the game, but there's a chance I might put it in the deck. Uh, yeah, this doesn't really matter. And the last pick. When it comes, probably won't matter. But yeah, this, this deck's really looking to be quite spicy. Uh, yes, it's green, but it is a fog, and we probably don't want to play it. Throw the consoles, it's fine, but it's not what we want to do. Tune with Ether. I don't think it's necessarily what we want to do here. We're not really three colours. Uh, Skyskip's really good. The Goggles is also really good. Artificer. How many Artificers do I have? Three. Not quite enough for that yet. Thought Rest is good if it's in those colours. Uh, one mana, one, two, Death Touch. And it can be a two, three, Death Touch if a permanent's left the battlefield. Um, Skyskip might just be better. Again, helps towards Metalwork Colossus. We don't have too many um, vehicles right now, and it's a one man, uh, two mana, two, three flyer. So I think I'll go for that. Uh, ooh, Fumigate. Not in white, but uh, that's quite very good. Thriving Rhino is really good. Um, three mana, you can pay, well, it gets energy, so it's a, basically a three mana, three, four, and it attacks for the first time. Oval Chase Dragster, Travel Haste, Crew for one, Eath Torch Renegade. Um, Ooh, I don't know here. What's this? Three mana, three mana. It's between these two, I think. Um, tough. I think there's maybe enough one toughness creatures, and I'm not super high on energy so far. Invigorate Rampage again. Uh, could take a second one. Gauntly, that's a sweet card. Uh, could take Maver Maverick Thopterist and it's about to feel great too colourless, it's got Improvise mm. this is pretty good so I like this and it might be another reason to draft a bit more blue, I'm going to take it um, I could cut it but I think I've got a couple of good blue splashes here so I'm quite happy to pay, play a little bit of blue and see if I can get those in there as well uh, it might be worth Remember about Ice Over as well. I don't think it's worth a full turtle though. Uh, wow, white does seem quite good at the minute. Uh, so that's a good white card. Hunt the Week. Yes, please. Nice green removal spell. Put a counter on a target creature you control. That seems fine. Self assemblers is cool if you can get them early. Um, if, you, if you get them like late pack one, I'll definitely pick it up. And if you get, th I think three is amazing. Two is okay. Three is amazing with those. Uh, you can just chain them off and chain them off. Wow, another one of these. Um, malfunction, maybe. Built the smash. Hijack, ruinous gremlin. Not really a lot going on here. I will take the malfunction. But I don't think it'll make the main deck. Um, I think we've got enough playables here. I think I can take out, actually. I think I can take this out. I've got the removal now. Um, Era of Innovation. Whenever an artifact or artificer, artificer enters a battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, you get green uh, two energy. Green, green, two energy. Nah, I don't need that. Um, Norm Cobra is fine. Uh, it's actually the best thing here. 
So yeah, so Pegarine ain't made a death touch. So yeah, it's 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 actually quite solid. Quicksmith genius. Artifact ends up out of field in your control. You may discard a card if you do draw a card. Uh, Salivating Gremlins. Artifact. I don't have a huge amount of... Oh, we've got another self-assembler here. Um, I mean, I don't need it. I've got f the five drops going on. Uh, Servo Schematic. And there's a battlefield of putting the graveyard. So if you can sacrifice this, it's it's quite good. Don't have a lot of sacrifice things. Put this on the side. Don't think I'll be playing it. Uh, and things do seem to be drying up a little bit for our deck, but that is fine because we've got enough good stuff going on. Don't know if the Armorcraft Judge is going to be worth it in this deck. Got a little bit of everything going on. Got a bit of artifact stuff. Got a little bit of energy. I don't think it's uh, busted in any way. I mean, this is busted, but uh, apart from that, not so much. Inventor's Goggles. I don't think we've got the artificers for it, but... Uh, so, Inventor's Goggles... Whenever artifice enters the battlefield and you control, you may attach this to it. So you get artifices and then it just kind of auto attacks. Attach, attacks, attaches. Words are hard. Wow, another malfunction. Blue does seem to be open. Um, yeah, let's just decide that. Uh, no, 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 no. Just a lot of nothing here. 26 cards. Definitely want to drop some. Could drop some of the blue. I don't think I need. <laughs> I'll take self assembly. You never know. Um... Self assembler, not a self assembler. There we go. Right. So let's have a look at how the deck is looking. Uh, if you're wondering, I would say think about the vehicles a bit like uh, equipment. So they're good at having a deck. You don't want too many, but the stronger ones, like this one, are really good. Um, don't feel like I need the Rogue Refiner. 13 creatures. I think I could probably drop some non-creatures, though. So Channel's Revolution, Hunt the Weak, uh, Appetite for the Natural. For all this is good, I think I've got enough good removal, so I'm going to take out the Appetite. I'm going to take out the Ice Over. I don't need too much blue in the deck. Um, and one more to take out, because I do think I'm running 79 on this one. Um, I'm going to fix the lands in a second, because they're not quite how I want them. I definitely want some more green. Um, built Smash. Might just be Built Smash, actually. I've got a decent... Uh, Spell here. Um, yeah, I think I just take that little smash. I'm going to run it like that. Okay, round one. And we are against, when it's ready, Yasaka. It was a Jace player. There's always one Jace player, isn't there? This is a bit mana light, but... Uh, We've got some stuff going on. How do you do this? Could potentially get this out of turn four, which is pretty good. On the draw. Pacification array is quite a good card. Ooh, and Bridal Growth isn't bad either. So this helps trigger a vault, uh, which will be good when I come to Lifecraft Cavalry later on. Also helps with um, Blue Manor if it, if it comes to it. We prefer lands, I need to draw some lands, but uh, ooh, green black. Green black plus one plus one counters is a deck. Still no lands, but at least we've got something to play. And if I don't draw land next turn, I can always sacrifice you in vital growth, that's totally fine. I prefer not to, but uh, can if we need to. Sure, that's fine. Also, this makes it look like we might have something left up, so it keeps the opponent on their toes. Sure, yeah. Morpheus Revolutionary is a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. 
It's got trample, I suppose. No land, so we need to sacrifice this. Hopefully draw land. And it's an island, so that's pretty good. And we've got some good cards um, here to help remove this. And we've obviously got a very good card here. Uh, and then I could potentially, oh, I was going to say we could potentially cast this next turn, but it doesn't look like we can. So that is fine. Land? Yes, land. That's what I wanted. Uh, Hunt the Week is a sorcery. Channel's Revolution is also a sorcery. But this taps down one of their lands. This deals four damage, this deals three. Oh, it fights though, it fights. So yeah, we'll use this one and um, we'll do the forest because a Pima Renegade's uh, green green and that's something I could be a little bit worried about. So we've got the if we got a land we can do this, but we can also do this. And I think I'm happy to leave this up if we've got something to remove from the opponent, which they haven't uh, cast anything here. So didn't get a land anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna say they'll probably tap this down. Sure. I'll cast this. Which is a one mana. Two three. So they didn't play a land last turn, and I kept them off a land. So that's why the uh, Channel's Revolution is going to be really good. Uh, hopefully we play a 5 on or something with 3 toughness, and then we'll draw a land. Um, otherwise, maybe send a 3, 4, and fight. I don't think they want to be doing anything here. Hmm. Ah, he had his expertise. Okay, yeah. That is a really good card. Do they have anything to cast? They do. They've got another Morphous Revolutionary. So now I want to land for the uh, Sky Sovereign. Definitely. Just remove this straight away. And we do. So let's do this. And take out that creature. And that feels pretty good. So I can definitely cast this next turn if I want to. Oh, this is always have flying. That's interesting. It's a flying artifact. It's not a creature at the minute. Um, but it's always flying. That's cool. So at the minute, casting this next turn. Oh, I've got another, another Darren Revolution. Sweet. Um, I can draw a card. And that's pretty good as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with how this is going. I've got four cards in hand. Ooh, that's strong. Fabricate three. Do they make the counters? The, 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 um, the one ones? The, no, they don't. They put it on there. Okay. Have to have a bit of a think about this. So. Let's get plus one plus one out in fights. This is a comes in as a six six. Just gonna swing in. Yeah, I didn't think they would. Um, I'm gonna play the Thopterist. because the flyers help get around the pacification array. I do want to deal with this at some point. So when they put an artifact in the graveyard, so sacrifice an artifact or an artifact creature dies, um, I'll lose four life because this is four power. And that's quite scary. Um, if they don't play a creature here, I can attack with, they do play a creature. Uh, I can still attack in the air. I could fight here or here. Even the pacification rate, I think. 
I would just cast this and attack for four. I'll tap this one down, but that's fine. Kujar Seed Sculptor. Um, right, so. You know, four and five. Not enough. Am I going to tap something down? Kind of want them to tap something down. I'm going to attack with everything regardless. Or am I? Might leave the thought wrist up. Block this with the thought wrist. Yep. So swing with these two. Um. I'm surprised I'm not full damage here. So if we start racing, that's a good way to get some damage in. Next time I can cast these two with this. So let's just go for this. And let them think they've won. So I put a counter on it and then a counter on it. Okay. So we got two energy. They can make this quite big. Um but I can still attack through, take out their 4 6, make this into a 6 6 trample. Even if I want to tap it, it's not going to be great for them. You can't activate it more than once. That's what they're thinking about here. So it only attacks once. Um, okay, yeah, so they tap this down. I'll be taking 7 here. But, hang on, is there a way I can do this? So, it puts a counter on something. So that's going to put a counter on this. So that's a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we'll just win next turn. Okay, sweet. So, play the Seed Sculptor. Put a counter on something. Then this fights this. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that's the win. Nice. I am happy with that. Should have left this up a little bit. I mean, I think I think what happened there is they um let's go back to battlefield. They thought they could activate this twice because it says when it attacks you may pay energy energy uh, if you do put a count on it. They've had four energy, they thought they could pay for it twice, they could thought they could pay it on a four five. Um when the rails could make it a 4-5 and this could profitably block it, they realise I had to tap this down. So I think that's what happened there, but I think that's pretty good either way because I would have made this into a 6-6 to fight with this and then they wouldn't have had much they could attack with and I could still attack with my 6-6 and the two 1-1s one and be in a good place. So yeah, that's what happened there. Um, so unlucky for the opponent. By the way, while we're here, if you are enjoying the video and you've enjoyed my insights so far, do feel free to give us a like and a subscribe. I am currently at 125 subscribers. I'm target quite an ambitious target of getting to 200 by the time Innistrad comes out in paper um i've got some spicy videos coming up next week um two spicy videos that are coming up one looking at some Innistrad uh mechanics from the past and seeing how that might affect how things work in the future and a little bit of speculation there and i've got another one which i'll be doing which is a little bit top secret but i'll be coming out next friday um playing somebody diamond here got a two man on arm cobra uh, Sage of Shire's claim, so that is definitely keepable. We're on the play, so less likely to draw the land, but I, you know, two two mana uh, in two colours with two cards we can cast is pretty good, I have to say. Um, I want to play this first because if I get to the point where I start needing lands, then if I get a land and then I want another land, I can always discard something to this. Um, we'll see how it goes. If one's got two whites out. First, in the middle of Malice. Uh, right, so this is kind of working how I wanted. Uh, that's sacrifice it. And when he sacrifices, I discard a card. That's fine. Um, yeah, sure. I play a 3 2 and attack. So I've got a decent removal spell. Uh, two decent removal spells. I've got this, which is a big hitter. Um, so feeling quite good. Could make a discard 
if I discard, I don't know what I discard actually. Uh, and what if we gave it from the battlefield, draw a card. Black White's a bit like a reanimator, revolt y deck. Uh, so, artifact reanimation and a bit of revolt. So, revolt is that mechanic where something needs to leave the battlefield from your side. Um, it's quite a value deck, so it's quite good. Uh, getting the lands still. This is the point where they've only got one swamp. So I do this. Because I can't attack while this is here. But keeping that off mana is really good. And I get in for five. It's a bit of a premium removal spell to use on something like that, but it was stopping us from attacking the whole time. Uh, I could have used this and saved that for the next turn, but I wanted to keep them off black, and it looks like that's uh, borne out quite good. And there's a battlefield. You may return another permanent control that was on his hand. Yeah, so that is a enabler for revolt. Um, do you want to cast this? So if I pay six energy, I can deal six of them at some point. I need to get one more energy to make that worthwhile. Um, let's play this, I can land next turn, I can cast this. I think I'm just going to play this and then use this as a surprise bit of removal. Do you want to discard anything? I don't have a lot of energy in this deck. And I could do with a land, so I think I'm going to discard this. There we go, we've got a land. Kind of wish I hadn't tapped the red now, but it's fine. So the maintenance discard. Uh, yeah, what do I discard? I think I discard this. It's good damage, but uh, if they're already tapping to make me discard something, then they're going to be down on land. I'm going to cast a four drop. Quite a good four drop. But it's only cast a four drop. This is really good to attack with this turn. Don't know how good this is in this deck, to be fair. But this is what I'm casting this turn. And attack with these two. Don't attack this because I block with the 1-1, one, one, but they've got to block this with one of the two ones, all of the two power creatures, and then if they do that, they can't kill this. They are a flyer. Interesting. I think I would have blocked it with this because uh, the flyer can be really good. It gets in over the top. Blocks any flyers that I might play. But you do you, opponent. He's a poisoner. Okay. In fine. Still stuck for swamps. Um, I'm not doing much better here. Um, this is a 3-3. Three, three. Might be better card to play over, than this, over this one. I think I'm just going to attack. Even a block with this, I'm getting in for 3. So taking down to six. I'm taking the Death Toucher out of the way. I'll play the three three. And then Invigorate Rampage or something is really good here. They do have seven mana. And that is a good seven mana spell. Okay, might as well play the lands out. And we'll see what happens. So they can sacrifice an artifact and give something minus two, minus two until the end of turn. Uh, Herald of Language is so good. This is like a snap pick. One of the best cards you can take. Might even better than the uh, Skyship. Maybe not. I 
think I'm just going to attack with everything here. Uh, you're saying minus two, minus two, so I don't know. We'll attack with these two. Because we've got to sacrifice an artifact to use this ability. Um, so basically trading their 1-1 one, one for one of my things, which is fine. Like, I think that's sensible for the opponent. But they could just block without spending the mana. They've got two cards in hand with mana left open. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But I was always going to get blown out by that. Yeah. This is still quite a solid card to drop here. And again, Invigorate Rampage uh, would basically kind of win it for us, I think. So plus four plus oh, uh, so that gives us seven and trample. And if I tap with both, then we can do stuff. Yeah, I think there's uh, stuff I can do here. Underhand designs. Artifacts of out of control, you may pay one if you do. Each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Sacrifice it, destroy target creature, activate it only if you control two or more artifacts. So let's cast this on the here. Even if we get minus two, minus two, we're still going to trade with this. This is an enchantment. Don't want to control two more artifacts, so that's fine. Clever thing to do here, we sacrifice it to give this minus two, minus two. Hmm, another subtle strike? There's no point attacking with this because it could block here. Yeah, we'll do it that way. We could have blocked here, blocked here, and then sacrifice this to give this minus two, minus two, and this would have just died for no profit. Yeah, fine, sure. And then a malice, can't make his sacrifice, but they can drain for one, which is quite a big deal, actually. Draw a card. I can't discard. Yeah, and a mountain. So that is me. Dead. Wow, Herald of Anguish. Still a solid card. Game three, currently 1-1, one, one, and we're playing against Bear Bob. Back to Platinum players now. That last opponent was in Diamond, and he had a solid deck. Um, can I need a forest, but we've got forests in the deck. We've got things we can cast. Uh, so either artifacts or forests, or both. Forest would let us cast this, which is good. Um, yeah, I'll just splash that. I never actually did sort out my mana. I might have to have a little look at that, but... I think the deck, I think this hand is fine, although it could really backfire. Could definitely backfire. Ooh, that is pretty good. Pretty good. Because I can improvise this out, so I only need to get a four mana. And if they're doing improvise, it's going to be quite good for them. Let's go for the Sky Skiff. Should have went for the island, actually, because I've got a forest I can play at this. I'm going to draw a forest now, aren't I? But I can still just leave Hungry Flames up quite happily. Uh, I didn't draw the forest, so we are okay. And then next turn I can play this, and I've got lots of artifacts. I can play this, and we are happy. Pawn stuck on mana? Not sure. Looks like they are. We'll leave the removal. Ooh, we've got a forest. Um, 
We'll play the forest. Play the thopterist. And leave the rogue refiner up. There we go. So we can block that thing. If we need to. I'm quite happy to trade this off with a uh, combat trick. Nice. This deals with that quite nicely though. Uh, can't cast this and this in the same turn, but... Hmm. Well, actually, that's stuck on mana. So let's deal with this. Tap down that. Crew this up. And get in for some damage. Yeah, so they're really stuck on mana. So it kind of feels bad for the uh, Chandra's Revolution, but hey ho. They'll deal with it. But yeah, against something too, that feels bad. That does feel bad, especially when they're on the draw. Um, I kind of hope they, had, they kept the one lander and at least drew one card, but I've got a feeling they wouldn't have. Yeah, opponent's deep in the tank, or maybe he's just scooped. And to be honest, I wouldn't blame them, but don't just scoop like that, folks. It's not the best thing to do. Um, yeah, so I drew a land. So... This costs six. We've got six, seven, eight, nine. So we can cast this and the Enraged Giant at the same turn. There we go. So even if they start getting caught up, we've got a hell of a board presence here. This doesn't even die to your Henny's expertise. Um, yeah, it looks like I just didn't even draw land there. They cheated this out, not cheated out, improvised it out, but yeah. Unlucky opponent, that was a bit of a non-game, but I'll take the gems and packs, if I'm honest. Game four, currently 2-1. Scofflin, we've got a... Oh, I can't remember the name of her. The new Planeswalker. This time, missing red. I still didn't sort out the mana. Um... I think red's the most common colour we've got. And worst comes to worst, we've got this turn four. It's not a great keep, but we'll keep it nonetheless. Renegade map, okay. That's a cool card. Uh, we've got a turn three uh, um, spell now. Uh, blue white could definitely have some kind of counter spell here. Um. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so far so good. And we've got a mountain. That is good. That is very good. We don't have much plus one plus one counter stuff, so I think I'm just going to cast this crew up. And attack, untap the Armorcraft Judge. The next turn I can cast, possibly cast both of these. Um, no, maybe I'll just cast, cast the five drop. Well, there you got two, one, fabricate two, okay. Yep, don't like that. Um, a Chandra's Revolution. We can't cast this with something else. Uh, so we'll just cast this. How do you attack with both of these? Uh, well, the two three powered things. Um, they've got a double block here to kill this. Untap the 5 4. It's a better blocker. Uh, 
They can kill this, but I'll kill all of their stuff on their board. And my two drop for their four drop feels nice. Uh, they're not. So that tells me they probably want to improvise something here. And if they improvise, they tap them down, which means this is going to be quite good. If they improvise something just for toughness, and this is just going to kill it. Um, and if I draw a land, I can cast this and this and use this to crew this. Oh no, it is that card. That is... A bit annoying. Well, at least tap it down. Yeah, that is a good card. That is a very good card. I was wondering what they were doing. Um, so let's cast this one. The crew. This. We've got China's Revolution, so that still helps us. And I'm going to attack with everything. And I'll untap the 3-3. Three, three. And they've got still a tough blocks here. I'm not blocking anything. Interesting. So I get another 7. So what do they have? Fumigate? Maybe? Decline. So even if a fumigate, this isn't gonna die. And this isn't gonna die. Uh I don't think it I don't think they die. So I can cast this, crew this, attack, or crew this and attack. If I draw a land, I can cast this and this. Okay. Yeah. I'll play land this turn. No, nope, they're just playing another island. So, yeah, let's cast this one. I want to play on the foul because I don't get it in the air. I'm gonna tap one of the islands because I've always got an island for something. Might be a counter. Is it negate in the format? Not sure if negate's in the format. Um, I'm gonna crew this with this. Attack for two in the air. And then... Yeah, I think I just want all of the things on the board I can. Yes, okay, they could have a Fumigate or something. Um, but I think I just need every opportunity to get two more damage through. Because I can cast something like that. And I draw a mountain. Hmm. So I could attack with everything. I'm definitely gonna get through the one and they'll lose these two creatures. I'll lose this one. So I'll have this, this, and this left and they'll only have this. Uh, and I'll have this. I think it's worth just going aggro. So we'll tap this down. I'll lose this one actually. Uh, untap the 3-3. Three, three. Trade this off for the 2-1. Well, no, try to trade that. Yeah. Get in for one. Hold the land. I still don't know what I've got. The play two creatures here kind of sucks. Or removal spell on a creature. They need a double spell here to not die. Uh, can't block artifact creatures. And yeah, okay, so they've got two creatures. But I could equally pull a removal spell here and just win. Or a pump spell, or a mountain, not a mountain. Um, 
still got the thing which is two dam three damage to a creature, two damage to the opponent. I've still got the um, thing which gives plus four for its own trample, invigorate rampage. So I've got out, definitely got out here. I still got the, the sky sovereign flagship. I still got removal spells. They're uh, holding something here. I'm drawing lands here. I think that attack was correct. I think I kind of didn't think about the trades that they could make. But they did need to get two spells off the next turn. And they did. Okay. So they're not going to draw two cards. Um... This is a sweet card in like vintage. Uh potentially apparently getting banned in vintage. Or it could get banned in vintage. Um don't think there's a huge amount in draft, but if opponent just wants to play it, that's fair enough. Ooh, okay. And it's a battlefield. Each player chooses an artifact creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalk from among non land permanency control and sacrifices the rest. Okay. Um So, they can keep both of these. That's why they played the Paradox Lycom, because they don't want to sacrifice these. I want to keep these two. Might as well sacrifice the Sky Skiff. Uh, and that is all I can do. I mean, still a remo- well, I can cast this. Uh, this is cool, but it doesn't do a huge amount. That's not the worst thing in the world. They've got things they can cast. There's still lots of cards for me which is win the game. So I'm not overly bothered. Sure, they can start attacking on a five turn clock. Vigilance is exactly what they want right now. Another mythic. Mythics are, are good, surprisingly. Yeah, so here we go. That's that's sweet. And I'm drawing more lands. And I'm trying not to get salty here, but uh, it's getting tougher and tougher. If I'm being totally honest. Hmm. Yeah. I'll take one more of those. Actually, can't be blocked. Yeah, that might be a mistake. Gains to life. Yeah, so that's going to become more of an issue. So now that removal spell, which does three damage, doesn't help. Uh, let's just put this on here. Sacrifice it. So it cycles for one, which is pretty good. And draw <laughs> more lands. Yeah. Uh, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I've got 6 lands out of 20, I suppose. Yeah. I'm not dead, I don't think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I do need to block something else. So we'll block there. Oh no, I, I can't count. I can't count. I think I didn't count the four from this. Because it wasn't tapped. Oh well. Round four, two two against the diamond one opponent. So they are looking to get in a uh, mythic. Uh, let's keep them away from that. Fine removal spells. Dot deck. Um, red and green still didn't uh, fix the lands. I always make that mistake. On the draw. No threats, but we've got lots of removal. Red white. That looks like it should be fast, but it's not fast so far.
Okay. Uh, anything we do against that? Not currently. Let's just play this, and then I'll, let's do four damage to it. With Weld and Sparks. That's pretty good. Don't one one. Yep. Crew using this, and then attack for three. Untap on this. Yep. We've got a single white left untapped. That indicates to me that they have built the smash in hand. When it do well in sparks this turn, then maybe hungry flames next turn. I'm expecting bolt will last here, so I think it gives something and um, indestructible. Plus two, plus two, indestructible or something. Either way. Oh no, that's nice. And head up the aeronauts. Yep, that's pretty strong. Um, five mana. Not great options for five mana here. Just play the Armorcraft Judge. Don't really want to block this here, but I can Hungry Flames it. Uh, so next turn I can Mobile Garrison and Hungry Flames this. Uh, and, it, and it's there. When it becomes tapped, the target creature can't block this turn. Okay. Um, yeah. So Hungry Flames, and then I play this as well. I've Hungry Flames on their turn. Because they've got a put, uh, pump spell they've, they've got next turn as well. Uh, and they may it's not be able to block, but then I'm going to crew one of these. When it crews a vehicle, that vehicle gets plus one plus one until the end of turn. Yep. Yeah. This is a sweet red-white deck, by the way. This is what you want to be doing on a red-white deck. Bit of a slow start, but uh, yeah, it's got all the things here. So I have a pump spell. Uh, and then two of them. I think this two damage to target player of Planeswalker comes from when those the Planeswalker damage redirection rule. Yeah, okay, so they're just spamming stuff on the board here. Um, play that. And yeah, we'll tap it that way. Ah, so keep the city, we can see keep the city action here. Um, yeah, so this makes. Oh, wow, yeah, this is a great red eye deck. So it makes something unblockable and then just draw every turn. Yeah, that's incredible. So you can't even deal with the thing that make it unblockable. Uh, yeah, I think we're dead. Is there anything to do to kind of try and fight back here? I don't think so. I think the best thing I need to think about is try and remove this, but that's uh, not going to happen. So they can pay two here and just draw a card. And then, yeah. Incredible. Wow, yeah, this is a sweet red white deck. So good. So not quite as uh exciting as my uh Almond Ket deck went. So you definitely don't want to subscribe right now, but if you would, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that's uh we're just dead. That's not gonna happen. Um but yeah, I think I think the deck the idea behind the deck was alright. I think the cards that were drafted were good. Only saw the Sky Sovereign once, and it got killed straight away, but it did also remove one of their things, so it was a two-for-one, so I can't complain there. Um, one of the wins was against an unlucky opponent. Um, I think playing two Diamond opponents out of five was uh, pretty tough, and the Diamond opponents, you know, we lost to Mythics twice, we lost to just a really good red-white deck once. Um, but for a free draft, I cannot complain. 
Um, yeah, I think five islands and five forests was the wrong way. It should have probably been um, this way around or something like that. Maybe even drop another island um, because there's only three blue cards in here and we also had unbridled growth. So yeah, potentially would have even went down to something like this. Um, but uh, yeah, actually, to be honest, if we're really talking about it, I think that would have been a, a perfectly all right mana base for this deck. Um, and I think it would have helped things out a lot. A lot. Didn't seem out work Colossus, which is kind of annoying. I, I mean, I think it was fine. I don't think it was going to be broken in the deck. Um, did see a few things over and over again, which are quite good. But uh, yeah, disappointed it turned out the way it did. It did feel a lot better than it was, but it's the way it goes sometimes. Anyway, thanks again. Hope you enjoy your Kaladesh drafts, and I'll hopefully see you again soon.